Hello everyone, I am uh, Dr. Murli Krishna, Senior Consultant Cardiac Surgeon at Manipal Hospital, Old Airport Road, Bangalore. Today I want to share with you my thoughts in cardiac surgery in general and minimal invasive cardiac surgery in particular. Here we do all the, uh, cover the complete spectrum of cardiac surgery, whether it's be it adult, pediatric and pediatric, whether it's neonate, infant or in little children. So cardiac surgery, as you know, encompasses the whole spectrum of diseases affecting the heart, whether be it bypass surgery or be it surgery affecting the valves or surgery for heart failure. Here we do the entire spectrum of adult cardiac surgery, including surgery for heart failure, wherein advanced therapeutic interventions are required as in extracorporeal membrane support, oxygenation also called as ECMO support or ventricular SS devices, including heart and heart lung transplant. Today I want to stress about minimal invasive cardiac surgery, which is a new branch of cardiac surgery, which has come in uh, general and being adopted all over the world. Minimal invasive cardiac surgery, as the name implies, implies doing cardiac surgery in a less invasive way, where the incisions are not particularly seen by anyone. You can also call it as a sort of cosmetic incision, where no bone is cut. And procedure, everything takes place exactly like cardiac surgery, but since the incision is minimal or it is in hidden areas of the body, post-operative recovery is quite fast, blood supply is, uh, blood uh, flow, blood wastage is minimal, and patients recover very fast. So this minimal invasive cardiac surgery can be applied to majority of the cardiac surgeries what we do, including in children. In children, we usually do for children weighing less than, more than uh, 7 kgs and uh, upper weight limit is not a consideration and if any ind proper indications are there like septal defects, atrial septal defects, ventricular septal defects, partial AV canals or at that spectrum of congenital dis uh, disorders where the children can tolerate procedures more than 7 kg. So we, we, we are uh, doing it here and uh, coming to adults also bypass surgery where uh, proper indications are there or valve surgery where it is done in a less invasive route through thoracotomy. So that also can be done. So the minimal invasive cardiac surgery, what, what are the major advantages? Major advantages, as I said earlier, it comprise minimal, uh, the smaller skin incision, inaccessible uh, uh, areas of the body, and post-op recovery is quite fast. Other thing what I want to tell is, how is it uh, beneficial compared to regular cardiac surgery? In regular cardiac surgery, what we do is the main breast bone is cut, and the recovery usually takes a longer period in a sense that the, for the bone to fuse, it will take around two to three months. And since minimal invasive cardiac surgery, there are no uh, cutting of the bone involved and we go through the intercostal space or what is called, called a thoracotomy route. So the post-op recovery is quite fast. So I would uh, like to stress again that minimal invasive cardiac surgery is a new branch of cardiac surgery which is being adopted all over the world because it's been sort of uh, more prevalent as compared to uh, regular cardiac surgery where patients want a faster recovery and less pain and earlier uh, return to uh, normal activity as soon as possible. So uh, if you can uh, want to know more details about it, we have a website and uh, the other various uh, social media. You can uh, easily access the information and uh, please uh, consider it when uh, choosing a procedure.